dragging this thing. I forgot I have what these to add to my shoe collection. What's up? Shoe collection on deck. You gotta do a shoe collection. You should do a shoe collection video. Or, or a Birkin. That'll go crazy on YouTube. Alright, come on, let's do it right now. Come on. Let's do it. Wait, wait, let's do it. I still be thinking about how crazy it is how we met. Like, you understand, it was literally only like three oh, weeks look. that I found you. Valentina, boom, four. Oh, that's the one right there. Yep. So you got, what other bags you got? I have Prado. I have Prado, Versace. Serious, I especially when you with your friends, it's not fun to let thinking about gifts when I couldn't stop thinking about it. like I had to have it. You know what I'm saying? Like I couldn't stop thinking about it. What was like your first like big? My first who? Your first like big purchase? My first big purchase was a presidential Rolex. You still have it? Mm -mm. It became so basic I didn't even want it no more. How much was that? Sixteen thousand. Mm. You gotta do. You, you start getting money. The reality is the simplification of getting money is you gotta have a nice watch. That's why. You, That's why you keep saying that. You gotta have a nice watch. Simplification of I'm getting money is I got a nice watch. That's number one. You just gotta have a nice watch. And then I went crazy and collected watches. I got like like straight up like when uh, your boy said I can live in my I can live out my closet. I never go broke. That's me. I could say everything in my motherfucking closet and be good. If I ever needed to get some money for real, for real. In my fucking closet, bro. Cool. Yeah, but this this is like I visualize I like I visualize this closet. Like this closet is exactly how I wanted it to be. Does that make sense? Yes. Like I wanted my closet to be like this. I just, I don't I still walk in this motherfucker and be inspired by it. I, still. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not I don't walk in here and be like, oh well, it's a closet. You know, I walk in there like, bitch, you sick me. Uh -huh. Yeah, I do. You can't trademark no. that? What? Sick me? All the gay people say sick me. All the gay people say sick me. Mm. Alright, so... Where is this one? Right you see what I'm saying? I got so many purses and stuff. It's tight. You got some space up there. It ain't gonna oh, go in too bad. You gonna put it right here in this corner? Move that over. Ah! You that sore? Bad girl, bad. Here we go. Ah! Look, she even got the hangers. Like, look. I don't know if you really care about birth charts or whatever, but I looked it up and it says that you're supposed to be in wealth. You're supposed to live luxurious in your purpose. Yeah, I can, I, I can believe that. That's why I, I literally can't stop. Bro. Like, I don't even know how to stop. Like, what I'm doing right now is the closest thing to shun that I've done in forever. Does it not feel right? Or? No, it, does, it, it feels like I did. I, I, you know how I feel? Like, I deserve it. And mm. I ain't even sure that. You feel me? Like, I'm still getting up in the morning, but I feel like... Like, bitch, you got all this money, why you acting like that? That's how I feel. I feel like, girl, relax. Sit down somewhere. That's how I feel. You do. It's like you're making too much money if you're acting like that. You can't what's, relax. What's the color of the day? The color of the day. Let's see. Oh, oh it's going to go in the story. Okay, come on. Ready? 
try this color. This is champagne. Let's see how this looks. This could be the color of it. It's giving it very... I don't know. Very um, brown, glittery kind of light. Shimmer. It's called Socialite. How much you said you did these walls for? Because my walls. These walls look like $150,000. They had to go through a, they had to take my stairs down to bring these walls up. What? These walls are 150 These are marble walls. The walls and the floors are like 150 All right, come into the closet. Alright. That's all right. It's nice, right? Mm-hmm. Let's see this perfume. Okay, let's put again. This perfume collection is sick me up. And this ain't even all my perfume. My perfume is in my house in Houston. Mm -hmm. This girl, okay. This girl has played no game. You know, we should. We need to start doing more reels where you coming out the closet. I used to do that when I had, um, if you look at my stories. Like That's how video. I know. Okay. And let me tell you what I used to do a lot. Too. You see that video where you came up on my shoes up? Mm-hmm. People used to look forward to me doing that. Mm-hmm. Hold on, look at my. This is the behind the scenes right here. Exactly. It's, it's my Mason Kirk John collection. It's the Mason Pumpkin collection for me. The big bottles. The big bottles. Two, one. Hello, everybody. So, welcome. As a matter of fact, close the door. I want to show them something. Go back. Go back now, girl. Show them the XW. Come on. Come back. Come on. Let's do slow motion. Yes. Let's do it again. Ow. Welcome to SW's closet. So guys, this closet is like a dream closet to me. Like every girl should aspire to one day have a closet like this. Let me just give you some of the features that makes me just feel like I will be building a 20,000 square foot facility pay off and just go back. Let me show them again. So in my mind, when I open these doors, I'm opening up my 20,000 square foot facility where I'll be teaching and educating people how to be Wi-Fi millionaires, okay? My mindset can change your skill set. So every time I open these doors, in my mind, I'm opening the door to my 20,000 square foot facility where my students will learn how to live like I live, or even better. So let me show you some of my favorite purses. So here is some of my Chanel collections. Um, I love Chanel. I got some Chanel that can't even fit inside of these, but every girl loves Chanel. Like, who doesn't want a bag Chanel? So here's some of my Chanel, my Chanel bags. And, of course, I have a Birkin fetish. So, as you can see, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. One of my Birkins are missing this kind again. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 Birkins. Oh, I gave a Birkin away. Two of them for a giveaway. I gave away two Birkins in one year. Oh, 16. Here we go. 16. But I did have 18 Birkins. I gave two of them away in real life. So 16 Birkins. So my favorite, favorite Birkin of them all. Like, these two are my favorite. These are my most expensive Birkins. These are collectible items, guys. Like, you can, like, literally buy a Birkin and it appreciates in value over time. This is something that many people won't understand. Um, I bought this Birkin for $75,000. I bought this Birkin for $65,000. And I could probably get $100,000 for each of these. These are collectibles. They are very limited edition. And you would probably not be able to find anybody in the world with these Birkins. And these Birkins were rewards. This was a reward for me doing a million dollars worth of ticket sales uh, for my awakening. So this is my reward. And this was uh, a reward for me helping someone to hit seven figures in my company. Um, and so I rewarded myself with this. So everything I do is a reward of something that I've done. 
Um, another one of my, my favorite bags, truth be told, uh, and I just love to throw it on because it's kind of simple, but it's still, you know, a Birkin, you know. And let me just say something. Many people may be like, that bag costs a lot of money. Birkins are bags that you cannot just, so you cannot just go in the store and buy a Birkin. So let me give you guys a little a little history on Birkins or a little training on Birkins. You cannot just go in a store and buy a Birkin. You have to get on a waiting list and you have to spend a certain amount of money with Hermes. So it's very exclusive, very prestigious, and you cannot just go and buy a Birkin. So this is uh, the Birkin Mini. I think this is a 25, something like that. But you see the snake skin. This is one of my favorite just to throw on bags. And um, I just love me a nice Birkin. So here's my shoe collection as well. As you guys can see, I love shoes. I love shoes. I love shoes. And I love, okay, these are a little old, but these are timeless. These are the Rolex Giuseppes, okay? I love Tom Ford. I love, I love Tom Ford. I do, I gotta admit, I love Tom Ford. And then I love, you know, just cute little clutches that you can carry. Um, over here is my little throw-on clutches. I got my little Balmain bag. I got my little tiny cute. This bag, oh my God, this came from Paris. I remember I was building my Paris team and I flew over to Paris and did some good shopping. And this is, you won't find the Chanel bag anywhere. So I was able to pick up this cute darling of a Chanel bag in Paris, very exclusive. And I cannot leave you guys without showing you this. Can I, so, oh, all of my clothes are, are, are hanged on gold hangers because I like to feel like I'm in a boutique. I love my little Louis Vuitton. I'm not big on Louis Vuitton, but I got a couple of Louis Vuitton bags. I got some Goyard bags right here. Goyard, and of course, all of my clothes I hang on gold hangers because I just love the feeling of being in a fabulous, expensive boutique. And in my mind, I'm in a boutique, but guys, check this out. This is my, my closet got a closet. You know, like, my girl got a girlfriend. My closet got a closet, okay? So this is my shoe closet. Oh, my God. I remember when I did my photo shoot in these. I almost broke my, like, neck, okay? Shaq had to hold me up on these. But, guys, listen, this is my shoe closet. I love a nice shoe. Women should always have nice shoes. As you can see, I love the classic Tom Fours. I got like every color, purple, silver, uh, I got white, I got pink, like jean, like I just love, 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 love some shoes. And this is where I try to hang like my new stuff that I haven't worn because sometimes your clothes can get, you know, mixed up and you won't even realize that, oh, I didn't wear this yet. So here's like my new stuff that, that I haven't worn yet, my printed clothes. And so, yeah, guys, this is my closet. And I absolutely also love this feature. I, I told my designer when she was doing my home to give me a wall for my perfumes. And this is not even all of my perfumes. I kind of collect perfumes. Like every city I go in, I like to go through the uh, airport and the duty free. And I love to buy fragrances from different parts of the world. And I just, just love a good fragrance. And so that's why this wall meant so much to me. And so I remember back when I first was trying to get it together my body is in pain i've been working out today i remember sitting in this very very closet when this closet was actually a part of like my bathroom and i remember speaking these very words i am determined dynamic persistent ambitious and faithful a beautiful sophisticated professional called to be a loving world-renowned motivator my name is stormy wellington repeat i am determined dynamic persistent ambitious and faithful a beautiful, sophisticated professional called to be a loving, world-renowned motivator. My name is Stormy Wellington. So let me show y'all something else. Let me show y'all something else since I'm over here manifesting. So this is my my glasses uh, right here. Like well, it could be a little neater. I need to call my people that organize my closet. But these are my this is my glasses collection. I just like love glasses too. And you know what? I kind of been getting out of the glasses vibe, but these are like. Like, all of my glasses, I just love cute glasses. I throw them on and just, you know, a nice glasses gives you a vibe, okay? And I have two cabinets full with just different glasses. And, you know, glasses kind of hide the, the eyes, but it also gives you a little swag as well. As a matter of fact, oh, I forgot I had these. Look at these. These serves Tom Ford's, baby. 
And then you could just take these off and just be like, what's up? What? <laughs> you know what I mean? And then just take them off and be like, what's up? So this is like a three for one glass. It's like, boom. Ow, I got on burgundy today. Boom. Ow. Versatile. Kind of like me. All right. So that's it, guys. I wanted to show y'all my closet, inspire someone today. I am looking forward to teaching you how you can do what you want, where you want, who you want to do it with. Wi-Fi Millionaire Challenge loading. And I just want to thank each and every one of you for watching this video. And don't forget to speak life over yourself. Don't forget to tell yourself things like, I am determined, dynamic, persistent, ambitious, and faithful. A beautiful, sophisticated professional calls to be a loving, world-renowned motivator. And I want to tell you this. I spoke those words when I was not that. I used to be ghetto. I didn't feel beautiful. I didn't feel sophisticated. I didn't feel dynamic. I didn't feel any of those things. But I started to speak those things, and I started to become those things. Because the words you speak is ultimately creating your life. So, hopefully I inspired someone today. Don't forget to join my email list and my text message list right now. Just go to your text message and put in the number 786-321-0618 and text the word new money. All right? Imagine doing what you want, when you want, who you want to do it with, and having the money to afford it. I dropped out of school in the ninth grade. Section 8, food stamps. You know, first child at 15. You know, 35 millionaires. And I'm just getting started.